got to be quiet today, Mary is still asleep, but I wanted to take this chance to show you guys from start to finish how I make my mealworm breeding tubs. I've done a couple videos trying to do this, but I feel I've only gotten like halfway through each time, so we've got some new beetles that are ready to go into a new breeding tub, but they need the tub. So I've got to make one from start to finish, so I'm going to take you guys along with me and show you my steps, walk you through it, so you'll be able to do this yourself. So these are the kind of bins that I like to use. It's a clear storage bin. The bottom ones are 31 quart, the top ones are 15 and a half, so about half the size. Whatever you use, you want some bins that will stack well into each other and save some space. For the smaller box, we're gonna need to cut out the bottom. A razor knife works well, and you're just gonna go right along the edges. take a few passes in order to cut through the plastic, but you'll get there. Once the bottom's out, we'll have a bucket that looks like this. Next up we need some window screen. There are a couple ways you can do this. You can set it down and cut around the edge. Or you can do what I prefer and flip the box over and put the screen on top. Then you can glue around the edges and cut it when you're finished. One last side. And then you want to touch up the inside. You can see how I can get my finger under this edge. We want to seal that up with a little bit of glue as well. Grab your glue gun and just run a bead along the inside edges. And then pick off any extra little glue scraps. Lastly, you can tighten down any loose bits, or you can trim them off. And then you'll have the top box finished. Double check that it still sits into your bottom box, and we're ready to move on to the next steps. Check out where the bottom of your top box sits, and then we're going to go about an inch below that, and we're going to put in our air holes. Start out with the drill. You want to use a light pressure. If you push too hard, it'll break through like this, and you'll end up cracking. It's not a huge deal, mostly just superficial. Keep working your way around, and like I said, just try to go slow, a little wiggle every now and again to work your way in will help, and you should be okay. Flip it over, and do the other side. Whoops. And there you go, air holes done. Lastly, we're gonna punch some air holes into the top. I'll spare you the scene. That's the end result. As you can see, still goes slow. You can crack it up if you're not careful. Again, not a big deal. Now, we're gonna fill up the top. I use wheat bran for my substrate. We're gonna put a couple scoops in until it's about an inch to two inches thick. Then we'll put in some cardboard. I like the egg crates and a carrot, which is what I give them for hydration. Now we're ready to move in our new guests. Since there's so many beetles in this box, rather than picking everyone out, I'm just gonna tilt it on its edge and let them kind of walk themselves out. As you can see, we are getting a few pupa falling out as well, but we'll just go ahead and pick those out. Easier than picking out the beetles. And so after a bit of sorting, you can see we've got our mealworms, well, our beetles, now in their new home. So these beetles live up here in the top portion of the box. They eat this, the wheat bran. They drink from this, the carrot. And they generally kind of burrow under the substrate and kind of like to live in and among the cardboard. Now, while they do that, they mix up 
all the wheat bran that's in here and it slowly starts to fall down into the bottom. And you can see just from filling it and putting these mealworms in, we already have a good layer. So I found that you really don't want to start out with any substrate in the bottom box because lots is going to fall from the top into the bottom. So that can be a good way to mark when you need to change it is when you start to reach a certain level of substrate, then you can swap it out and, um, and put that into a grow out system. So that's the whole thing, start to finish. You make it up, put your beetles in, and off you go. So thank you all for checking it out. As always, I hope you have great luck with your systems. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll help you out as best I can. Have an awesome day, you guys. Catch you next time.